Gibbs Gaming. Hey YouTube and welcome back to Gibbs Gaming. This is Chris and you're in for another Fallout 76 build and it is number two for our team builds. This is going to be our sneaky, roguish, slash, scout type uh, sniper. He's going to be able to get in and out of buildings, make sure that there are no traps for our team, uh, or to be able to call out all the targets that he sees. That's what this build is for. It's not really a high damage build. It's more of the mark the targets, let the tank run in kind of thing. Uh, again, just to be clear, these builds are based off of like an MMO type strategy. So you have a tank, you have a healer or a medic, and then you also have DPS that are designed to be a team oriented thing. Not one character doing all the DPS or all the damage and everybody else just soaking up XP. That's not what these builds are for. It's supposed to be from a level one to a level 5,000, whatever, for each player to have a benefit to the team. So keep that in mind, let's get started. We're gonna have five strength, we have three in pack rat. That's gonna give us our junk weight reduced by 75% because he's also gonna be our team crafter for guns. And sturdy frame, which gives us 50% less weight on our or armor. Over into perception, we have rifleman, expert rifleman, master rifleman, that gives us our 60% damage to our rifles. Uh, that are non-automatic. Then we've got Tank Killer, your rifles and pistols ignore 30%, 36%, I always say 30%, I don't know, 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger, which is helpful when we do get into firefights, and deal 60% damage to glowing enemies with glow sight. Over into Endurance, we have two points into Rejuvenate, uh, that gives us a better buff when we are well fed well hydrated action boy or girl so that we can get across the lakes without taking any rad damage and then we've got ironclad for those times that targets do get to us which gives us 50 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor which by the way does stack with your armor that you are wearing you have inspirational under charisma that's going to give us 15 percent more xp when we are on a team so that we can level a little bit faster intelligence this is the only thing that we grabbed out of intelligence which is gunsmith so that our personal guns will break 50 percent slower but we can craft tier 5 guns when we have the plans for our entire team that will be using guns under agility we've got three into sneak which makes us 75 percent harder to detect covert operative which gives us a 2.5 times normal damage while sneaking We've got Mr. Sandman, so if we are fighting at night for some reason, we are getting an additional 50% more damage while sneaking. Home defense. Now, I picked up this and light-footed because, again, we're going to play the kind of scouty type. So if there are any traps, we need to be able to disarm them so that our team isn't taking a mass amount of damage from those. Not that there's a lot of traps, but just on the off chance that there are. These are some cards that you could get rid of. Uh... And it would allow us to craft expert turrets if we wanted to create a home base somewhere where we know high level targets are gonna be so that, that we can just run them into our turrets. And then last but not least, we have light footed so that when we are sneaking, we won't be triggering any trap mines or floor based traps. And then we've got scrounger here, which is 80% chance to get extra ammo from containers. We've got bloody mess, which gives us a 15% damage uh, to our target. And then Junk Shield gives us just a little bit more armor. I only had two points left, and I didn't know what else to throw it in. So that's where this went. Uh, so as long as we're not wearing power armor, we get an additional 20, per, uh, 20 more damage and energy resistance. So that's cool there. Uh, so if we scroll down here, as you can see, we will be level 57 before we get all of our cards, which is about the on par with most of these builds so far. Uh, as you can see, there are tons of cards that you unlock as you're leveling. So there's never a point where you're just like, I don't know what to click. You'll have plenty. Um, but there you go. That is the build there for you. If there are any perk cards you think we should have got, let me know down in the comment section below. If there are perk cards that should go away just because they're kind of useless and just have extra points left over, let me know that too. Uh, other than that, guys, again, this is part two. We will have two more parts. One's going to be a tank. The other one's just going to be uh, our uh, fully automatic assault rifle build. 
brought over from Solo into a team play. But let me know what you think of the series so far. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you do subscribe. On the right-hand side of the screen there for you guys is going to be a build that YouTube suggests for you. And on the left-hand side is going to be a, the entire build videos that we've done so far for Fallout 76. So if you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. I do read all the comments. But other than that, I'm getting out of here. This is Chris at Gibbs Gaming, and I hope everyone is safe. Be blessed. Be loved. And as always, as one, we rise stronger and wiser. Peace out, guys. Bye.